from my perspective, is actually a good time to know the stuff because this is, if five years ago you would say, oh, everything's going well. It doesn't matter what you do. I'm making money. So there's nothing to learn. Now is the time when you really need to learn. Basically, most courses um, taught at the MBA level in uh, business schools across the world uh, spend a lot of time talking about theory. So, you know, they talk about managerial decisions, they talk about investor decisions, but it's all based on a theoretical level. What I try to do in this particular course is basically divide um, the decisions faced by uh, managers and investors into two separate tracks. So what we have is we have two courses which are devoted to decisions made by managers. So for example, the first decision would be, okay, we have money, what should we spend the money on? So that's a corporate investment decision. The second question is, where do we get the money from? So, which is raising capital. So those are the two basic courses which are devoted from the managerial perspective. But then you have the investors as well, because the investors are whom the money is coming from. So if you're an investor and a manager comes to you and says, we want money to invest in this particular project, why should we give the manager money? Um, that's, the, that's the second question. So we have two courses devoted to the investor's perspective. How do I analyze an investment? How do I figure out what's the best combination of risk and return um, so that I can get the maximum returns for the minimum amount of risk? Is that possible at, at all? Um, and um, you know, how do I analyze complex derivatives like you know, futures, options, swaps, currency, hedges, that kind of stuff? So that's basically it. And the whole point of the course is it's going to be a very practical course. Pretty much all the sessions, well, most of the sessions will have at least one case. Uh, and in those cases, we're going to be discussing very common business situations faced by companies. And then we can practically apply the theory, which we, well, you know, which we'll learn as well, um, to real life situations. My hope is you come back, you take this course, you should be able to go back home and say, I can apply this tomorrow. Right? So I, can, I know what the pros are, I know what the cons are. They're always trade-offs. So there's no such thing as an ambiguous, you know, unambiguous thing that says, all right, this is the best thing to do. You take any decision, you're going to have some positives, some negatives. So my job is to expose the student to those, I'm a listener, those you know, decision points. So you have to say at the end of the day, all right, on balance, it's better to do this than not do this. But I'm fully aware of the consequences if something goes wrong. The person whom we are looking for is someone who knows about this stuff, maybe just started out in his career, or maybe has been working for a few years, but is basically saying, okay, I learned all this in my MBA, or I learned all this in another course, but how do I apply it? How do I actually go in there and take it away? or someone who just started on a job. Uh, let's suppose you've just been hired by uh, an investment bank, um, you know, and your first job as an analyst, you really don't have much of a sense of, okay, I know what the theory tells me I should do, but when you actually are sitting there and you've got this ton of papers in front of you, how do I go through that ton of papers to identify what I really need um, to go in there and say, I need to make this decision, and I need to make that decision tomorrow because my boss is on my head. So how do I, Go in there, take all that thing, throw it out, and get the bare sense necessary. That's what I'm going to focus on. My courses, usually my students come out and say, when I, when I teach working students, I actually have them come back and say, we did that yesterday. You know, we just were analyzing that exact situation. Um, like, for example, buying another company, a typical acquisition decision. What does that depend on? Should I pay with cash? Should I pay with, should I pay with debt? I mean, how does it work? That, that kind of thing that... That's what actually makes me happy when someone says, oh, it worked, and this is exactly what we did.